بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کنٹینیو آر ڈسکشن آن دا ٹاپک کریٹ کیلکولیٹڈ ٹیبلس وی ہیو آلریڈی ہیڈ اے لک ایٹ فلٹر ویلیوز ڈسٹنکٹ اینڈ آل ٹیبل فنکشنز ان دا پریویس پارٹس ناؤ ان دس پارٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو اے لک ایٹ دا فنکشن سمرائز کالمس so let's have a look at the definition of summarize columns on the dax.kite website and here the definition is a very simple definition that it is used to create a summary table for the requested totals over set of groups so this is a very uh, generic and maybe it would look like a confusing kind of a definition for summarize columns but this is a very very powerful function inside of DAX and remember we had a detailed look at the group by functionality once we were talking about the power query editor so summarize columns is kind of similar to the group by functionality but here it gives you the flexibility to include columns from other tables or even measures that you have created on the columns that you want to perform the group by operation so let's try and dissect what is the syntax of this particular function so here if you have a look at this syntax primarily there are there are three areas so for the first area is which is uh, shown here by the group by column name so you can put the names of the columns inside the data model on which you want to do the group by so there could be one column or there could be multiple columns then there is the second section which says filter table so filter table actually represents expressions that can be used to filter the column so if you want to perform any filtering on the columns you can even have the filter expressions to do that so these are optional entries and the most important part is the expression so here you can put in measures which can be used to act as the quantitative column so remember we had a look at the group by so we said that there are two parts of the group by the first part is the the the, the categorical columns which are used in the group by expression and then there is a column on which there is an aggregation that needs to be applied so instead of that aggregation you can actually have a dax measure or an expression that can be put here and you can have the group by applied to on the on this column so these are primarily the three uh, parts of the summarize column columns uh, dax function so now let's go to the power bi desktop environment and have a detailed look at how the summarize columns function actually works so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment and i have created a table by the name table summarize columns and here i have used the summarize columns dax function and we are going to slowly build on this function but in its current form i have the product brand column that we have been using in some of the previous videos as well and i have an expression total cost that i am trying to group by so i am trying to make a group by kind of a thing based on the product brand and i want to group by the product brands based on total cost so whenever you have to specify a dax expression or a measure then you will have to also give it a name so this is something which is a mandatory part so now if you see the results here you are going to see two columns which is similar to how a group by works so you have 111 records one for each brand and you have the cost associated with each of the brand in the other column so this is the main usage of summarize columns which is very much similar to a group by functionality like i said that instead of having just one column here you can have multiple columns so i can so i can add more columns here so let me just do that so now i have added another column which is sales region from the regions table and now you can see here that the group by is being done on a combination of product brand and sales region and now you are going to see that for every product brand and for every sales region combination you are going to see the cost so this is how you can use the summarize columns and you can have as many columns you want to put here and for an expression you need to give the name of that expression 
So the third and final thing that we can do here is that we can have a filtering expression. And remember, we have seen the filtering in some of the other videos uh, as well. So here we are going to use a filter function and see how we can perform filtering using obviously the relationships which are there. So just keep this thing in mind that at the heart of this is the relationships which exist in the data model because of these relationships the filter context is there and based on these relationships we have the calculations which are working so everything is basically working on those relationships so now let me just amend this and include a filter expression inside of this table function or inside of this uh, uh, dax expression that that is uh, based on the summarize columns dax function so i have amended the formula here so i have taken out the sales region uh, that was coming from from the from the regions table I have, I have taken out that column from the group by and i have added a filter expression here so it is based on the on the function that we have as the filter function so remember filter is a table function so we have used filter here to create a filter expression or in fact whatever translates uh, whatever we put here it translates into a table so what we want we want that that for the all the product brands we want the total cost and we want to just filter those results based on the customer gender so all we want is the result for our male gender so let me just execute this and here you are going to see that now i have the numbers here again but now these numbers have been filtered based on the male gender. So this is a very powerful function. So you can have a group by functionality and you can also apply some kind of a filtering on top of that. But the goal is to understand the syntax of this particular function. Remember that you are not supposed to write any DAX, but the most likely scenario you are going to have such a question in the on the pl 300 exam is that you would need to identify that okay if the syntax is correct and if the syntax is correct then what could be the usage of this function or you might be asked to fill in the the, uh, the areas with the right argument of the of the function so just keep your focus on the syntax and the prob probable use cases of all these table functions so that was all about the summarize columns functions. This is a very important function and a very useful function if you are using it in your day-to-day uh, -day working. So I'll catch up with you with a new DAX function in the next part of this video.